everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with Demos That Rock. And today we're doing something that we've never done before. You know, so many things have changed in the VO world. And one of those is that so many obsessions nowadays are remote yes. and uh, the importance of, of, of being able to do that. Um, is more important than ever before. Uh, and we're going to show you guys kind of behind the scenes of what happens here. We're recording a commercial demo with the one and only Mark Cashman. How you doing, Mark? Hi, I'm, Mark. I'm doing fantastic because I'm with you guys and I know I'm in safe hands. Good, good, good. Once we're done with recording this commercial demo with Mark, and you guys are going to see the whole scoop of what happens while we're doing this, at the very end of this video, um, you're going to get to hear Mark's completed, fully posted commercial demo. Yes. Here's what's cool. Mark is an established professional, a coach, a mover and a shaker in the industry, passionate about helping other people and staying current and relevant. What I think is wonderful is when people with your profile that are in the business and helping people get started in the right direction says, I need to make sure that my tools are up to date and I am performing at my highest level and my demos reflect that. That's the first thing. So kudos, high five, 3000 miles away for that. The other thing that I think is really important with this process of doing this demo spotlight is that it is remote. It is showcasing not only your performance, but it is showcasing your home studio. And now in our business of the now and the moving forward business of voiceover, we are performers, engineers, producers in some cases, you know, so there's other hats that we have to wear. So when people are listening to your demo, Mark, they're also listening to when we book Mark, this is the sound we're getting because we either don't have access or want to have access to studios and you're getting the whole package. So I think that's important for people to remember while you're listening to this. And so what I'd love for you to do, Mark, is tell us, because you're recording on your end. Mm -hmm. so what are you recording on? Your interface, your mic, et cetera, your, your chain. What are you recording on? <laughs> I, I always joke, I always uh, chuckle because I, I, I'm not a techie uh, per se. That's okay. Um, I, I've, I've got uh, I've got my shotgun mic here. It's it's, it's a, a Rode NT5, and um, and I'm uh, recording on uh, uh, audition. I've got a, a Behringer a, a, a mixer. Um, I, I I don't even know what my interface is. It's it's, it's well, you're it's probably using your Behringer as your interface. Yes. Oh yes. Okay, that's right. That's absolutely. And you're using right. Adobe Audition. <clears throat> Uh huh. Adobe Audition. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, Adobe Audition does a million different things. Yeah, I mean, you, right. you're you're you can, it's astounding what it can do. Oh, absolutely, um, it's, it does right. more than you need it to do. Especially absolutely. What absolutely. About your, what about your booth? Because yeah. Because, uh, because yeah. I would say that eighty percent of your sound is where you're recording from. What do you have absolutely. going on there with your booth? Well, I have a different, slightly different setup uh, than than usual. I have two rooms. I have a control room and I have a booth, like kind of like you, you've got a control yeah. room and your thing, and then you've got and people going to the booth. Well, my entire studio was built into my house and, and um, um, I'm right now in my booth, but on the other side of my booth in this, well, maybe I'll take my camera so you can see, I'll take this and, and you can see on, over here, this is my control room. Oh, beautiful. In, in, in there. So you yeah. can see my microphone and everything. And then my office is, is through that door. I have two glass doors there that weigh about yep. 200 pounds each. Mm -hmm. And so I could bring light into, into here, but that's basically it. So my, my control room is here. And then my booth is, well, I'm right. back here but again. But you have treated space. Exactly. Oh, oh yes. Uh, uh, oh, there's no, there's no question. I, I always joke that if I were, in the, if, if if I'm in this booth and the door is closed and the two doors are closed to my studio and then the door is closed <laughs> to my office, if I have a heart attack in here and somebody's out there, I'm dead. I'm gone. I'm done. That's, That's it. why you because take your phone in with you and put it on. No fire. one, <laughs> you know, you remember that 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 that, that uh, line in space. No one can hear you scream. Remember yeah, that one? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's basically my studio here. So, Mark, before we 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 move on, I want to ask you a question. Sure. Um, and that is, you know, listen, you produce demos yourself. 
Yes. You could have gone to anybody to have, yeah. you know, a demo produced. Yes. So, hey, I want to know something. Number one, why a commercial demo right now? Why do you, why mm. you want a new commercial demo? Uh, why did you choose to work with me? Um, and, uh, and what are your goals <laughs> for this new demo? My last demo was done seven years ago. You want to keep yourself fresh. You want to keep yourself uh, contemporary. And and um, and what happened? You know, it was going on seven years ago. It was well, that was seven years ago. Uh, yeah. Today is today. And and so we want to be current. We want to be contemporary. And and there are trends today that weren't seven years ago. And sure. that's basically what I, I want to um, I make sure that I'm in the pocket and competitive as an actor, a Good. voice actor. So that's question number one. Question number two, why did I go to you? I produce great demos. You produce fantastic demos. <laughs> well, thank you, Mark. <laughs> I needed to go to somebody who would have as good a perspective, if not better than I do when I'm producing demos. I had to go to somebody who was my peer. Mm-hmm. I respect you more than anybody else in the business in terms of production. I know your production qualities. I know that they are they they are con- totally consistent. Uh, they're contemporary. You've got just the, one of the best ears, if not the best ears, and you can hear things even deeper because you're an engineer on top of being a producer. So, well, buddy, the, I appreciate that. And he so, has that musician's ear too. That's the other thing is that you're musical. You understand. Again, you understand the big picture. And that's why I can come to you safely knowing that I've got somebody who's totally, totally objective and is, is on my side and wants the absolute is going to showcase my voice the best it can possibly be. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And what is the goal with this new demo? Like, What, what is- would you like to see happen? My goal, I, you know, truthfully, my goal is just to remind my agents that I'm still relevant, that I'm still around, that I'm still competitive and that they signed me for a reason. Mm-hmm. That's a great That's reason to do a demo. And by the way, I tell people all of the time, if your agents forgot about you, <laughs> you know, and the last time you did a demo was like, you know, a couple of years ago, the best way to reintroduce yourself um, to your agency is refresh your demo, make a new demo and say, Hey, this is what I can do now. And have them go like, Oh my gosh, we forgot that we represented this guy. Yes, yes. Uh, so yes. good. It's a win-win for everybody. Yes. Absolutely. And I think it's important to remember too, that we're all growing, evolving. Life is happening to us every day. Yes. And so it changes our point of view. It changes Mm -hmm. who we are and how we are. And Chuck and I have just had a giant life change and I hear it. I hear it in my reads. I hear it in my performance. So I think it's important to not just go, yeah, I'm great, but there's always a different flavor of great that you can be. And I think finding that is really important and challenging yourself. And, and we're going to challenge you today. Absolutely. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm going to challenge. And so we're going to show that process. So are you ready? I am ready as most rain. Importantly, most importantly, the only demand is you need to have fun, enjoy every journey and every bit of it. And I'm so excited. Me too. I'm honored to to have been part of this process and written Absolutely. for you. And I'm excited to hear what you do with it. Well, I'd like to say thank you to Stacy for you know doing the research on all the scripts and the spots oh. that we're doing today and creating mm-hmm. these incredible uh, scripts custom for you. Um, we're not doing fake products. We're doing real products. We're staying within brand of the actual uh, companies that we're doing out there because you don't want to change some brands uh, uh, brand. Yeah. Um, that's a big no-no. And uh, and so thank you, Stacey. You always do such a, a, a wonderful you. job. The with best. She, she puts a lot of a Well, lot no of pressure. Mark is an award-winning copywriter. So no and the, you know, that's well, that's the other reason, too. You know, Chuck asked, you know, why did I came to him to, to do the demo? I, uh, so part of it is also because of you and your copywriting, uh, which is lean, mean. Uh, there, there, there's it, it's it just is very, very clean Thank Every, you. And, and, and right to the point and very, very thoughtful. It's just right there in the bullseye. Thank and you. that kind of copywriting usually you have to be at an ad agency for 10, 20, 30 years before you get to that level, but yeah. you've got, you understand what this, what this whole uh, uh, medium is all about. And you're able to, to write like a pro. And for me, the goal is to 
make you shine, just like yeah. it is for Chuck. Our goal is to make you shine. You are front and center. So the words matter. The words are important. And so every single letter on that page is an opportunity for you as the actor to say, this is who I am. And this is what I, this is what Absolutely. I do. So, Absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's go for it. Let's baby. rock and roll, baby. You got it, kids. So you got it. Cashman. So, Mark, what what spot would you like to start with? What do you feel is something that's a good warm up for us? Something that's very natural for you? Um, how about Chase? Chase. Um, oh, you were telling me a, a story earlier about you walking around the house and your wife <laughs> were like, why do you keep talking about Chase? I know. I know. That's, that's it. You keep talking about Chase. And I said, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm getting off book on my demo. I'm just basically just, you know, I, I, uh, I always tell my students. And in fact, I, I uh, Chuck, you send people that you're doing demos with oh, to me God. to prep them. And so one of the techniques that I always use is to get off book to get off the page to have them memorize everything they're going to be saying there's no need to read anything virtually anything in commercials there's just none it's not narration it's not audiobooks it's not e-learning or explainer videos it's not dense material it's short 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 sentences do you think because obviously your students are watching your potential students your current students do you think it's possible to over prepare no, not at all. Uh, uh, as long as you know what it is you're saying, then you can say it any way you want. The thing, the thing is, is, is you need to know your material, but be flexible enough to change the delivery of That's that material yeah. based on what the director is saying, because we are actors. Yeah. Actors take direction. So yeah. a person coming in for a play or a film or whatever the case may be, they're off book for their scene. They know what it is they're going to be saying. And they've kind of gone through the motions of approximately how they're going to be saying it, but they're not married to it because they're waiting for input from the director. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Let's begin here with uh, Chase and uh, says here on the specs, it's friendly, relatable, smart. Um, Let's see where you go with it, where your intuition tells you as a director yourself. And then I'll kind of redirect from there if need be. Okay. You got it. Chase, take one. Chase puts easy-to-use tools to deposit, plan, and pay right at your fingertips, which is why banking with Chase feels so good. Chase, more of what's yours. Well, I have to say that did not suck. (laughs) That was great, buddy. It would be Uh, nice to say the word banking correctly, but that's okay. This is going to be one of those sessions where... You know, you have to really be picky because you're working with somebody that does this for a living. Oh, yeah. Person. So absolutely. Um, absolutely. So that was great. The only thing that I would say is to hear just a little tiny bit more friendly, just a little bit friendlier. Yeah. OK, this will a little be bit more two. smile. Yeah. Take two. You got it. Chase two. Chase puts easy to use tools to deposit, plan and pay right at your fingertips, which is why banking with Chase feels so good. Chase. More of what's yours. Okay, so check this out. Um, Puts easy to use tools. So easy to use tools. Just a little clearer on puts easy to use. And also banking with, with. That with was a little mumbled. Um, Absolutely. But other than that, it was perfect. Take four. Chase four. Chase puts easy to use. Chase five. Chase puts easy to use tools to deposit, plan, and pay right at your fingertips, which is why banking with Chase feels so good. Chase, more of what's yours. That was beautiful. I want to make a distinction on this take between depositing, planning, and paying. Because it's three different activities. Take seven. Chase seven. Chase puts easy-to-use tools to deposit, plan, and pay right at your fingertips, which is why banking with Chase feels so good. Chase, more of what's yours. Love it. And we're done with Chase. Oh, my goodness. That, that was, was quick. And freaking fantastic. Now, we're going to call this DoorDash One. Lucky for you, tonight's craving is always on the menu. You want it? We'll bring it. DoorDash. I love that. Now, I know that we said here friendly, inviting, but with a little bit of sarcasm. So, hey, you know what? Lucky for you. Yes, exactly. So a little, a little okay, bit good. of a sarcastic attitude there. Take you two. got it. You got it. Aaron, this is a, a DoorDash 2. Lucky for you, 
Tonight's craving is always on the menu. You want it, we'll bring it. DoorDash. There you go. I love that. And don't be afraid to even give me a little bit more of that spice. Yeah. Chase <laughs> three. Yeah, chase three. Lucky for you, tonight's craving is always on the menu. You want it, we'll bring it. DoorDash. Beautiful. You know what I loved about that read you just did? Yeah. It had this little flavor yeah. that wasn't just bland. You know what yeah. I mean? It wasn't just yeah, yeah. vanilla. It had a little spice in there oh, yeah. that perked your ears and you were like, ooh, what's that? Who is that? You yeah, know? it's just a little character thing. It's great, it, 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 but the not more character really anything. It's still Mark. And by the way, Mark, yeah. you are a character. You know what I mean? I mean, when you get to know you as the person that you are, yeah. you're not a bland person by any stretch. <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, you. Thank you. So let's grab another one like that. Yeah. Chase four. Absolutely. Chase, um, uh, DoorDash four. Lucky for you. Tonight's craving is always on the menu. You want it, we'll bring it. DoorDash. Beautiful. And then on five, I just want you to give me three, uh, uh, an ABC of you want it, we'll bring it DoorDash. You got it. This will be five. And this is DoorDash five. Lucky for you, tonight's craving is always on the menu. You want it, we'll bring it. DoorDash. Sorry. You want it, we'll bring it. You want it, we'll bring it. You want it, we'll bring it. Good. Very, very good. Love it. Did we Love get coverage all. on that? Do you want to do one more all, all the way through? Well, then why don't we do one more? And yeah. on this one, on six, yeah. even give me a little bit more of that, that your little, little character thing that you're doing. Just a little tiny bit more. You got it. Thanks. Here six. we go. And it's DoorDash six. Lucky for you, tonight's craving is always on the menu. You want it, we'll bring it. DoorDash. I love it. I love it. That was fantastic, man. Uh, okay, we're done. You did it. Boom. Oh, my God. Just this is so, you know, oh, this is fantastic. For number three here, the, the next spot, I want to go to um, Untuck It. Oh, okay, great. Not a problem. Just because right. we're, we're going to stay on this upbeat, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah. So, this is all. Here. It says here on the specs, and I always love people to know what the specs are because then they wouldn't know you. They can see where you go with it. Yeah. It here on the specs, it's a testimonial, meaning this is you talking, right? It's got some humor, um, is enthusiastic, and it's a quick pace read. So let's see where you go with that, and then we'll redirect from there. You got it. And this is Untuck at One. I remember having to go into a store and try on no less than a dozen different shirts before I could find one that kind of sort of worked. But now, thanks to Untuck It, I've got so many perfectly fitting shirts to choose from. Getting dressed every day is kind of like my new favorite hobby. Not even kidding. Excellent. Love that. I would only like to hear it faster. Yeah, not a problem. Like the words are just falling out of your mouth. You're not putting too much thought into what you're saying. It. You're just saying it. Absolutely. Uh, Take two. Untuck it too. I remember having to go into a store and trying on at least a dozen different shirts before I could find one that kind of sort of worked. But now, thanks to Untuck It, I've got so many perfectly fitting shirts. Trying one on every day is kind of like my new favorite hobby. Not even kidding. Excellent. Another great one. Take three. Watch your diction a little bit here and there. Uh, but keep it that quick pace, okay? Love you that. You got it. Untuck at three. You know, I remember having to go into a store. Untuck at four. You know, I remember having to go into a store and trying on no less than a dozen shirts to find one that kind of sort of worked. But now, thanks to Untuck It, I've got so many perfectly fitting shirts to choose from. Getting dressed every day is kind of like my new favorite hobby. I'm not even kidding. Love. What a great read, man. And give me three alls on just not even kidding. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. Right. Love it. Yeah, really, really great. Did I, did I get there that you're where done. you wanted me? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I have like literally like yeah. four takes that I just right. love. Mm -hmm. Terrific. So, yeah, great job, Ter buddy. We're done with that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. There you go. Mark's hydrating. We need a little, a little hydration, Mark. Always, 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 always. Um, okay, so we have left LG, Genesis, and Providence. So mm -hmm. what do you want to do next? Which one of those? 
Let's do, let's do uh, Providence. Great. Uh, I'm really, really curious to see where we go with this. Mm-hmm. Um, because this is a completely different read than anything that we've done thus far, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, usually, usually when I uh, uh, prepare demos, when I, when I help people do their demos, I always talk and make sure that they understand that different stories have a different register in their voice. Yeah. Sometimes they're in their upper register where they're upbeat and happy. Sometimes yeah. they're in their mid range and mid register where they're very, very straight ahead and straightforward. And, and sometimes they need to be in their lower range where they're, they're again, more down to earth, a little bit more serious, a little bit more intimate. Yeah. And so that's basically what I always do. I always divide these, these uh, 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 excerpts, these elements into three different registers so that at the end of the day, at the end of the demo, the demo's got range. Exactly. Yeah. And that's basically why we've got, again, this is a uh, uh, Providence is going to be in our mid, mid to lower range. Yeah. Mid to lower range. Mm-hmm. Let's Absolutely. see where you go with this. Go for a take one. You got it. And this is Providence one. Hands that heal, hearts that care. At Providence, our inspiration to provide professional world-class health care for everyone at every stage of life is you. Together, every day is better. Love it. Really, really, really beautiful. Did I say, I said professional, but it's compassionate. That's okay. That's all right. I'm off books. And, and so that, that's, that's okay. We can yeah. change it and also uh, to provide. Yes, exactly. Not a problem. It was Here a we go. I'll provide and yep. take two. Providence too. Hands that heal, hearts that care. At Providence, our inspiration. At Providence, our inspiration to provide compassionate, world-class health care for everyone at every stage of life is you. Together, every day is better. Excellent. And I want one more. And on this read, I just want you a little bit more relaxed. You got it. Hands that heal, hearts that care. At Providence, our inspiration to provide compassionate, world-class health care for everyone at every stage of life is you together. Every day is better. Gorgeous. And we're done with that. Oh my God. Very, That's, very, wow. Very, I like how he's surprised. It's like, oh my God. What? I'm that, done. Yeah. That, I'm, I'm done. That's, that, that's incredible. Well, again, I, you know, you sent me this two weeks ago and I've been rehearsing this every day for two weeks. Good for you, man. And here, here's a person who really does not need to, to work that much with your with your copy. And still, you know what happens when you take the time. I always tell people, you know, when uh, an Olympic uh, athlete, okay, is going to go and be in the Olympics and perform, do you think they're not running their routine over and over and over and over again until they don't even have to think about it? Absolutely. It's all muscle memory. It's all muscle memory and then some. Because don't forget, you're going through your paces, but you're, all of a sudden you're surrounded by people who are just as good, if not better than you. Exactly. So you have that amount, that added pressure of performing. We're lucky. We don't have that kind of pressure. No. We don't, we're, 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 we're isolated. Um, uh, the spotlight is only on us. Um, uh, but bottom line, preparation, preparation, preparation. There you go, buddy. I guess, uh, how about the uh, 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 LG? LG it is. Yeah. Okay. Hold on one second here. Bringing up my script on my end. Oh, this is cool. I think people should know this. So the specs on this, everybody, is um, specs are artistic, magical, amazing, with few words. So how to tell a story with very, very few words. This, these are hard spots, actually. Very, very um, difficult. The, the hardest spots are the simplest ones. The hardest, the, one, of the, one of the most challenging, <clears throat> challenging things is to do one line. Yeah. One oh. line, just one. That's it. It's a tagline. It's one line. I, I, I think that that's the most daunting and challenging thing uh, in voice work. All right, let's go to LG. You let's, got it. Let's see where we go with this little sucker. You got it. And this is LG1. Extraordinary. Groundbreaking. Roll out the future 
and immerse yourself. LG Signature OLED R. I love that, but I almost want him to be a tiny little bit lower, just slightly. You got it. And a little bit more refined. This, okay. is, not a, this is not a very cheap television. It actually costs a lot of money. So you got it. a little bit more refined. Take two. LG2. Extraordinary. Groundbreaking. Roll out the future and immerse yourself. LG Signature OLED R. Another great one. And for five, I want you to take whatever you're doing now and exaggerate, if you will. I know that the, you know, people say, oh, you know, we don't want to hear the announcer. The announcer is still happening. You bet it is. Give this guy just a little bit more of that announcer presence. You got it. Okay. You take five. It. An LG5. Extraordinary. Groundbreaking. Roll out the future and immerse yourself. Roll out the future and immerse yourself. LG Signature OLED R. And we're done with that. Oh boy. <laughs> He's like, oh boy, oh boy. He's like a little kid in a freaking candy shop. Yes, I am. I am. Come on. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. And we are back. Okay. So next we have the Genesis V60. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see where you go with this, Mark, and then I'll redirect from there. I have a vision for this. Yes. So let's see if our visions meet. This one I felt uh, was just a little bit deeper than LG. In yes. fact, this was my lowest register right there. Yes. But, um, but uh, hopefully um, I'll, I'll be close. Let's hear it. Here we go. Genesis 1. There's great power in elegance. Plug into a new way of driving. The first ever Genesis GB60. I love it. I want it to be a little bit quieter. Got it. I want to get a little bit more air in your voice. Yep, absolutely. Thank you. Here we go. Genesis 2. There's great power in elegance. Plug into a new way of driving. The first ever Genesis GB60. There you go. That's the, that's the guy right there, man. He's mm -hmm. so good. By the mm -hmm. way, man. And that's, that's not a Mark Cashman. What a. That, that gets unleashed often. I, we, I no. like, he's. That's you a, need to do more of this, Mark. That's I know it. I know this grounded, is, this is. Really just grounded. Mark. My wife, my wife calls this my sexy voice. This is my sexy. It's voice. definitely sexy. Hey, hey. hey, anybody that thinks this is sexy, smart, sexy voice, leave a little comment under yeah. this. Mark, <laughs> sexy voice. <Thumbs> up. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, let's grab another one like that, man, for take three. It's you so it. good. Here we go. Genesis three. There's great power in elegance. Plug into a new way of driving. The first ever Genesis GB60. Yeah. I want to do one more for take five. Mm -hmm. and I want this even quieter. Got it. Just above a whisper. You got it. Take five. Genesis five. There's great power in elegance. Plug into a new way of driving. The first ever Genesis GB60. Give me the middle line and, 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 and give me a, a, a beat after way. So plug into a new way of driving. Got it. I'll give you three in a row. Yeah. Plug into a new way of driving. Plug into a new way of driving. Plug into a new way of driving. Um, you're so good, buddy. I'm blushing. And, uh, and, and by the way, we're done. So we just finished recording your entire demo. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my goodness. How there's, about them apples? That is just insane. I mean, there's tones and timbres in your voice that I had not heard before. And so I think that's great, but yet you're still recognizable. So when we hear the final product, we're going to hear the different colors and tones and personality because we're not all in the same mood all the time no so, but you're still who you are and you're the common denominator so i think it's really exciting let me ask you did you were you surprised by anything yourself the process no because you know the whole thing is is that the the spot was custom tailored to me 
uh, we we had a consultation before we even started writing, and and uh, and and basically the the content uh, was a reflection of me. When I produce a demo, when you produce a demo, Chuck, we always tell people that we're working with the demo is supposed to be a showcase of your signature voice. And your signature voice is what David Lawrence, the 17th, calls your core natural voice. That is what is supposed to be captured on your demo. Yeah. Because your demo is supposed to basically showcase your emotions, the different sides and shades of you. So it's Mark Happy. It's Mark Contemplative. It's Mark uh, Snarky or Sarcastic. It's Mark uh, 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 Thoughtful and, and Compassionate. It's different shades and sides of Mark. That's what the demo is supposed to be yeah. and showcase. And through the, the, through the copy and the direction of that copy and your direction, it all comes together because we're all on the same page and we all know what the final outcome should be. Let me ask you, were you a little, were you a little nervous coming into the session today? I was excited, but I wasn't nervous. Mm -hmm. Good, good, Great. good, man. I'm glad. Great. So do you feel like you accomplished th the first goal of your list of goals that you have for this. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, it, 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 I'm, I'm really, I'm just, I can't wait to, to hear the final product and, and, um, and just put it out there and, and, and see what the reaction is. And, and, um, and I also, I, I actually informed my agents. I said, Hey, I'm getting ready to do a new demo. So you're going to be hearing that uh, yeah. within, the next, within the next couple of weeks. So I already gave them a heads up and Stacy at the very beginning of the session, you told me to have two, two words, two operative words, and that is have fun and that's what i had during this entire time i believe time. you that's did good, i believe you did and you know that we adore and respect you we're so excited for Vice versa. thank you for for this opportunity to work with you and for the trust and confidence to work yep. with us and um it was wonderful to be a part of this process and i think we should tee it up and hear absolutely so here is the final post-production mark cashman snazzy new 2022 commercial demo so not only are you going to hear mark's complete finished beautiful shiny new commercial demo right now but you're also going to see incredible visuals along with it because why mark it's a family affair it's a family affair my daughter remy cashman uh has started her own production company her own video post-production company remy cashman editorial and she does video voice demos and she's going to do a great job with mine. And here All it right, is. All right, here it is. Chase puts easy to use tools to deposit, plan, and pay right at your fingertips, which is why banking with Chase feels so good. Chase, more of what's yours. There's great power in elegance. Plug into a new way of driving. The first ever Genesis GV60. Lucky for you, tonight's craving is always on the menu. You want it, we'll bring it. DoorDash. Hands that heal. Hearts that care. At Providence, our inspiration to provide compassionate, world-class health care for everyone at every stage of life is you. Together, every day is better. Extraordinary. Groundbreaking. Roll out the future and immerse yourself. LG Signature OLED R. You know, I remember having to go into a store and trying on at least a dozen different shirts before I could find one that kind of sort of worked. But now thanks to Untuck It, I've got so many perfectly fitting shirts to choose from. Getting dressed every day is kind of like my new favorite hobby. Not even kidding. 